Hello and welcome. Today I want to talk to you about Theo Anemann, this gentleman right here. If you are a magician or if you are a mentalist, you've probably heard of Theodore or Theo Anemann, also known as Ted Anemann. He was born February 22nd, 1907, and he crossed over on January 12th, 1942. I'm going to talk about the circumstances of his death in a moment. Uh, this is not just a video about Anemann. It's also about this particular book right here, something I want to recommend to you. I'm going to do a little bit of a review of the book, but I wanted to talk about Anemann also. Uh, I've been, lately, I've been including a little bit on Anemann in my act. You know, uh, I have a very unique act as a mentalist in that there's some self-consciousness about what I do, and I present that to my audience. So I talk about Anemann, and I talk about his contribution to mentalism and the art of mentalism, because I want audience members, even lay people who don't, aren't particularly interested in magic or mentalism, to sort of appreciate where we've come from and who we are. And if you are a mentalist, especially a mentalist, and you don't understand the significance of Anemann, uh, you're missing a tremendous part of your history. Adamant started publishing a, a magazine by the name of The Jinx. If you've watched my videos long enough, you've seen this right here. It's in the background all the time. Adamant and then The Jinx and all the issues of The Jinx right here. So you've seen, you've seen The Jinx in my library. Go back to the earliest videos. They're there. Uh, they, have, they have formed a foundation for everything that I do as a mentalist. And I tell you something, I know, I know of working mentalists, when I say working, I mean full-time professional mentalists who derive a good percentage of their act either inspired by or directly from the jinx or from animate material. And I'm going to go through some of that material right now. Uh, what I did want to speak to a little bit is, is the life of this individual. He, he is, his influence on mentalism is without question. He is a great wave that drives the rest of us to the shore. I know that's been said before of many different artists and performers, but it's true of Anemann. The, the thing about Anemann, though, is, and, and the, the title of this book is Anemann's, Anemann's Enigma. He is one of the rare birds in our business that actually committed suicide. And I, I come from that from a, experience. I have known people in my life personally who have taken their lives and it, it is a devastating thing to happen. There's no question that it was a suicide. The question is, and I hope that it would be resolved in this, it'll never be resolved, let's face it, but you want to know why, right? You want to know what were the circumstances? Well, the year was 1942 and no doubt the World War II was raging and there were the pressures of World War II. That could have been a contributing factor. He was on his second marriage. And the marriage was reportedly difficult, rocky. Uh, he was having difficulty with, with his marriage. He was a publisher. He published the Jinx. If you are familiar with magic publishing, it, it's, uh, sometimes it can be lucrative and sometimes it's not. And I think in the case of the Jinx, he, he, wasn't, he wasn't getting the income that he needed, and, and he wasn't getting it from performing either. You know, to, do, to, do, to, to de dedicate your life to performance magic, or any performance art for that matter, to dedicate your life to performance art uh, is, is a huge commitment, and, and it's challenging, and it's difficult, and, uh, and it's doable. So many people do it, but, but the pressures are certainly there. Now... Two weeks before he was to perform his famous bullet catch, he was known for many things. He was known for his stellar mentalism, but he was also known as a person who did the bullet catch. Now, one of the rare pieces of footage, and the footage is actually on this DVD, uh, and it's, it's other places as well. It's, on, it's in YouTube. I'll try to find the link and put it below. You can watch him do the bullet catch. I've never been fond of the bullet catch. Now, I do... In my act right now, I do a roulette routine, and I do it with a staple gun. And it looks dangerous, and it, it is dangerous, uh, because the staple guns are real and they're loaded. Um, but I, I am not doing... The worst thing that could happen to me 
in the event of a catastrophe as I would shoot a staple into my hand. That's, that's the worst that could happen to me. In the case of a bullet catch, you have the history going way back. You have the history of people being shot to death, either themselves or a relative being shot to death. So, so you have a, a history of this effect that is not good. And, uh, and he did it, and he was scheduled to do it for the first time indoors. His, the show was two weeks away, and he committed suicide. Now, I know that he had horrendous stage fright. And, you, and I, I did a video on stage fright, and I did a video on the fear of public speaking and presentation. That's down below. Take a look at that if you suffer from that. It's, it's, folks, if, if, if you have difficulty with stage fright, and, and most of us do, uh, it can be a devastating thing. It really can be. Uh, you, you, you want to be the performance artist. You have this vision in your head of what you can be. And you go out there and you work and you work and you study and you practice and you rehearse and you go out and deliver the show. And there's always a gulf between what you see yourself being and doing and what you actually do. And that's okay. It's okay. And I'm not saying that, that Anaman committed suicide because of stage fright. I'm suggesting that perhaps it was a contributing factor. The war perhaps was a contributing factor. His rocky marriage, his finances, all those things might have come together. And I don't want to bring, I don't want to bring you down. That's not my point. Uh, my point is that if you don't know who Anaman is, you should. Uh, he's a major contributor. His books were, were his material from the jinx was brought together in this book right here, Practical Mental Effects. And Practical Mental Effects, everything else is in here. Uh, so where I'm going is you have this book, you have the Jinx, you have Practical Mental Effects, and uh, <clears throat> all of this material that, that uh, up until this year you had to acquire separately is now available in one place. You have this book right here, Animan's Enigma. It is published by the Miracle Factory 2019. It was just published this year, folks. And Animan's Enigma, this is everything in one place. On this DVD that comes with the set, you get the entire jinx. And I just, I'm telling you, if, uh, if you don't have this, and by the way, I have, I have an extensive collection of Animan already, but I definitely wanted to get this. One of the things it has in here that I definitely wanted to pick up was the biography, the biographic material. And it, it, is, it is presented more or less in chronological order. You have an introduction by Max Maven, you have a preface by Todd Carr, and then you get Animan's articles. Animan's life as an enigma was written by Todd Carr, page 25, and it goes into his life and his biography, so it puts a lot of things into perspective. And I enjoyed reading the biography. I thought, when I bought the book, it's the one thing about this book that if I could change, I would change. I was expecting a lot more biographical material than I got. I got it. It was an excellent biography, don't get me wrong. But I wanted more, and it left me wanting more. And it's really hard. That right now, as far as I know, and I could be mistaken here, and if you know of something, please let me know. I, 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 I don't have, or there is not available a comprehensive biography of Anaman. If you, if you want to get a biography of, of Houdini, for example, there are volumes and volumes written about Houdini. You can read Houdini biographies from now until kingdom come. There is so, many, and so much material on Houdini, but there's not a lot of material on Anaman, on, on his life, even though he was such a major contributor to mentalism. So, but I want to get back to this, and I want to kind of encourage you to pick this up. So, all of Anaman's articles, and they're in chronological order, beginning 1924, 1925. Uh, you can see I have, uh, I've highlighted and I've taken notes. There's material in here that I've never seen before. All the reading that I've done, I've never seen it before, and it's 
golden. Some of this stuff's going straight into my act, folks. Uh, then you've got 1926, 1927, 1928, on and on and on, the articles in chronological order. Then you have Adamant's essays, exclusive manuscripts, master subtleties with cards, exclusive secrets, of Anaman's conception. I don't want to skip a page here because it's important. The books with a name, Card Miracles, Mental Mysteries, The Book Without a Name, 1931. Again, these are in chronological order. Then you have 101 Methods of Forcing. That book has been a standard in our business for decades. And here it is right here. And 202 Methods of Forcing, 1933. Strange Secrets, Climax Card Routines. Shh, it's a secret. That's 1934 uh, book. Adamant's Complete One Man Mental and Psychic Routine. Adamant's Mental Bargain Effects. En Rapport. The Jinx Programs. Other books. It is chock full of material biographical material as well as material that folks you will use so I cannot recommend this book more highly to you it is it is highly affordable for what it is you just can't get a better bargain than this I have been an Adam and fan for years by the way um, Richard Osterlin whom I've mentioned before took practical mental effects and did a several volume DVD series so if you want to see Animan's material performed, and you want to see how effective it actually is and how relevant it actually is, take a look at Richard Osterlin's DVD series. Uh, you can't go wrong with that. So anyway, folks, I wanted to give you an introduction to Animan, and I wanted to hype this book because I'm so excited about it. it. comes with the DVD, the full jinx in here. You cannot beat this bargain. Hey, folks, uh, Please comment. I love your comments. I, I love your suggestions. I love your requests. You know that I've done videos in response to what you've asked me to do. I love doing that. Please ask. Please comment down below. Please subscribe. I appreciate your subscriptions. Uh, this, uh, as far as I'm concerned, this, this channel has grown considerably since, since I started doing this seriously. And, I, and it's because of you. And I thank you for that. You, you are terrific. Hey, folks, I will see you next time. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day.